Freemasonry or the Masons Illuminati is Satan worship. Yes. It is not to be played with. Amen. This is why when we marched against a church worshiping in a Masons building, I came here and I asked God, did I do the right thing? He said, I've never been so proud of you in my life. Because I thought us marching against a church worshiping in a Masons building, I thought we was just being radical. And, but God told me to do it because I had a dream that the whole building collapsed with the church members in it. And so he told me to go and march again. Masonry is Satan worship. Inside of Mason built in the Mason building where they were worshiping was a picture of Alan Pike, the guy who started the Ku Klux Klan. <laughs> Yet you have a black church worshiping in it. And it's a Satan, and, and, and you have all these satanic symbols. But the only way you can use this, a Mason building is somebody has to be connected to Masons to be able to use the building, right? So, the pastors were connected to the Masons. I didn't know it at the time. I thought I was just educating them. But they should have just said, we're Masons. And then I could have went about my business. <clears throat> but this is an enemy, not only of the United States, not only of man, but of God, because it's Satan worship. Amen. I'm going to show you something real fast. Now, I told you about the two evils. What year was the United States founded? 1776. Did you say 1776? Okay. What is the number of Jesus Christ? Eight. 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 Eight is the number of Christ. He's the new beginning, right? If I say there's another 888, which is Apollyon, I would have to birth my nation in 1776 for it to be under the control of both gods. So it was birthed in the year that they wanted it to be birthed because they knew through Satan they were going to do something big through this nation. So you have Satan worship right inside of the United States at the root of it coming into existence. So now, this, this one's supposed to stand for Christ. And this one stands for Apollyon. Okay? I'm showing you this because God wants S for C to know. Because he know we're not playing church. Amen. All right. Amen. Now, you in Revelation chapter nine. Amen. Turn to verse eleven, and let's read what verse eleven, uh, uh, verse eleven says in chapter nine, verse eleven. They had as a king over them. The angel of the abyss, whose name in Hebrew is Abaddon, but in Greek, Apollyon. That's in verse chapter 9. 11. It's in chapter 9, verse 11. Why is it verse 11? Because that's the satanic number. And this is what they've adopted. So they planned for something to happen on 9-11 to honor Apollyon. Wow. Wow. But what year? We're going to do something great for Satan on 9-11, but what year? So now you go deeper into their religion, because remember, Masons is not a club, it's a religion. Right. So now, as you read the prophecies, one of the main prophecies they have is the return of the serpent snake to rule over all mankind. That's going to happen in 2012. Okay? So now, <laughs> they decide they're going to make these two monuments 
but they want to make it in the, in the shape of the number that they worship. So they make two towers standing next to them, each other with a plan of this is the plan. We're going to make a mass sacrifice to Satan on 9-11 using his monument in the future. But what year? If it's all going to be over with in 2012, or if the Satan's going to appear in 2012, let's do it 11 years before he returns. So this is why they chose 2001, because 11 years later is 2012. They're doing this all worshiping Satan. This was supposed to be a mass uh, uh, sacrifice to Satan on this day. Everyone who was a part of the Masons, George Bush, um, Barack Obama, uh, Clinton, Rockefellers, all of them that are, Jay-Z, all of them that are a part of this, they understand the God that they're worshiping. Yeah. And they know that Satan is real. Yeah. And when I preach on this next time, I have a DVD of a guy that went to, he was going through his Mason's uh, initiation. And in his Mason initiation, he said, I knew I was joining a group that was financially secure. And he said, but I didn't have understanding of how far and deep I was going. He said, I went to my initiation to receive my last 33 degree masonry and become a master mason. He said, when I went, a famous musician was there. And he was shocked to see that this famous musician was going to be at his inauguration. This is on YouTube. I've got, I, 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 I got to get it on a CD so we can look at it. He said, um, we're sitting there, he says, the famous musician says, when he appears, he's going to ask you for whatever you want. And when he appears, just tell him what you want and he'll give it to you. And he thought, you know, somebody, you know, a higher upper in the Mesas was going to appear. So anyway, they start doing his, so his ceremony. And he said, a spiritual dark figure appeared in the room and spoke. He said, like you speaking to me, he said, what is it that I can do for you? He said at this time he knew he had gone too far. He said he understood that Freemasons are not only dealing a, a, a worshiping saying they're in direct contact with demons and spirits. Yeah. So they planned 9-11 as a mass sacrifice to Satan. And George Bush knew about it. As people were jumping out of the windows, and families, and mothers, and children who were killed in this thing, they are knowing of this because what they know is at the end of the year, they're going to go to Bohemian Grove, stand in front of an aisle, and worship this aisle, which is called the cremation of care, the destruction, so that we don't have to have this burden of care inside of our heart. We're doing what their master wants them to do. So this is what's going on. Can we stop? Can you stop what's going on? 